Hey guys, had some requests for uh, a demonstration of the process I've been using lately. I've been doing a series of these type trains. Um, working a little more graphic and tight than I have in the past. Um, so, I found on this stuff it's best to really get your drawing down nice and tight, uh, straight. I've been using guides and stuff for my wheels rulers and stuff measuring out and I found this phase really makes a big difference in the end because um, if it's just not drawn right it just doesn't look right so I've really been taking the time lately and I've been pleased with the results and so you know I've been using these gallery wrap canvases lately I kind of like them you can paint over on the edge don't have to frame it Makes a cool look, I think. Been using these little spacers for painting wood. You can get at the hardware store. Kind of pulls up off your table. And the gallery wrap canvases have a little groove in them, and you can move it across your table. And they'll usually stay up on there pretty good. So that's been pretty cool. Um, but so what I did is I'm trying to make them uniform. So I, I measured the horizon out. The train's roughly the same size. And I always cover the background with the color in this case yellow ochre I usually fall back on that sometimes I'll use a blue or a purple or a red but in this case use this um, you know when I do my pencil drawing I try to draw relatively light I see some places here where I didn't do that but and then as you go back and erase it'll pull the paint up but that really doesn't bother me because most of this can be covered it's just nice uh, to, if you, if you're working and you leave voids, it's nice for it not just to be white canvas. So, that's what I've been working on. I'm going to show you the underpainting phase next. So, I'm not really looking for perfect renditions of these trains. Uh, there's people out there that do a wonderful job doing that. I, I, I'm more looking for a kind of a graphic representation that captures the train, but it doesn't have... I leave a lot of details out. I, you know, I like to... I like to show the workings of the mechanical stuff, but there's a lot of stuff like all those hoses and stuff. Sometimes I leave some of that out. This rail right here. A lot of times I leave that off. It's always on there. But it, on, on my paintings, it's just kind of not too attractive, so I usually leave it off. Anyway, I'll show you another video on the underpainting phase. Thanks for watching. See ya.